Waves have been breaking on the planet for tens of thousands of years. Except for the ancient Polynesians, it's only been in this century that surfers began riding these waves. When I made my last surf film in 1964, there were only four countries in the world where people surfed. Today, surfers are riding waves in virtually every country in the world that has a coastline, and on almost every island in every ocean. If you went searching for your perfect wave and went to every spot in every country where people now surf and stayed one day, you'd be gone for 50 years. In the longboard era, a perfect wave was a point break like Malibu. Now, it depends on what kind of board you ride and what kind of wave you like the best. It seems like everyone's surfing now from Mr. Hulo to five-year-old TJ Barron to 75-year-old Rabbit K. Kai. Little girls are surfing, and big girls are surfing. People with bumps on their backs, and little dinky kids that really trust dad. They're riding tandem, trandom, even for poor guys who can only afford one board between them. Even religious fanatics are going at it. Even rovers riding. He figures his partner's a kook, keeps wiping him out. He'd be safer on his own board. He's the only one that fits that wetsuit. Got it at a garage sale. He doesn't bother to pull out. When the wave's done, he just stands there for the wipeout. On the waves on all kinds of things from wave runners to full race outrigger canoes even kayaks I think this guy wishes he stayed in the river and windsurfers that can pull off some amazing maneuvers in the surf
My friend Tom Morey invented the boogie board in 1971. Today, everybody seems to be riding them. Some have almost made an art form out of it, like Mike Stewart here. He can get that thing so deep in the barrel, it's hard to believe he can come out the other end. Mike and some of his buddies have taken up riding the shore break at Waimea Bay, really gnarly waves breaking in about a foot of water. shovels and start digging out the sandbar to let the water out. After about an hour, the water really starts to go. You know when it's just right because it sucks the tourists out to sea and creates a standing wave. The waves don't go anywhere, but you do. Surf or not, these guys still figure out a way to have a whole bunch of fun. The only hang up with the river mouth is you get lepto something or other. No one knows what that is, so they don't worry about it. When your fingernails fall out, you know you have it. The best standing wave in the world is deep in the heart of Texas. This machine invented by a surfer, Tom Lochtefeld, basically pumps water up against a wall, which creates a wave. If nature doesn't make the wave, surfers make their own. The guy at the controls decides who stays and who goes. You're out of here, young lady. Kelly Slater in a true stand-up barrel. This is the inventor of the boogie board, Tom Morey. I guess doing some testing. The operator decides you're out of here, Tom.